Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallygoalie.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay. So, Aries, you have um, a seed over here. And it's a new opportunity that's in your hands. Something solid happening in regards to your health whether that be mental emotional physical spiritual um, material is specifically what i'm hearing material financially you may have a, something new coming in money coming in it says i will honor the physical vessel vessel that enshrines my soul okay so currency is energy currency is also energy and i see you kind of like with this energy creating creating something creating a solid foundation with it what is this new opportunity here it's like you have certain goals that you want to nourish you want to take care of what is this new opportunity ace of cups oh hmm huh. ace of cups here this is in regards to new love, a new relationship, a new friendship. Love starting. Something is starting. Yeah, this is definitely um this is definitely showing me that something is something is is starting, some sort of commitment is starting and love is um or someone is like starting to feel love for a for a new um, beginning or there's a new relationship someone new i'm seeing the empress i'm seeing queen of cups strong feminine energy here yeah a lot of feminine energy a lot of um nurturing loving energy and let's see wheel of fortune wow Wow. I feel like you've been getting this for a while, this Wheel of Fortune here. This is just like, I guess you're in your lucky era, right? You're in this like lucky, really lucky era where things are coming together and you're creating changes, positive changes. You're um, creating changes when it comes to your health. You're creating cha um, better choices, in health and in love, you're creating better choices here. There's someone around you who you see as being really solid. This could be someone who is financially stable, a business owner. Um, they really practice self-care. I'm hearing this person likes to cook. They're really nurturing. And you see this person as someone who you feel like is worth your time and worth your investment. And I see you as wanting to give more to this. You're like, hmm, yeah, this person really seems like they're really solid. They have uh, a really good life. Um, they're mature. And I feel like if I feel like I can create positive changes here because this looks like me giving to this will actually also bring positive changes in my life. 
I want to invest more into this. I want to give my time. I want to give my energy, my commitment, my heart to this. Who are you, Aries? <laughs> Who are you? It's like you've changed so much. You've changed so much. Or it's always been in you. And now it's like coming out. So I don't know what this five of wands is about. Because a part of you may be feeling like there's competition over this. You may be feeling like, oh, this is something I have to fight for because it's such a good opportunity. Or this is such a good person. I feel like I need to um, like really put myself out there and see what comes out of it. Okay. So if you do have someone on your mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see what their energy is saying. How do they feel about you, about the situation right now with you? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Taurus. I'm also picking up on Libra. Libra energy. You could be dealing with any of those signs or have any of those signs in your chart. Empress. This person... They feel like this is something that is growing. There's something good growing here uh, between the both of you where like you laugh a lot together. You have a really good time together. They they're looking at this in a really positive way. But I do see them as trying to they're they're trying to use their own judgment here. Yeah. They're trying to use their, their judgment when it comes to what direction things will end up growing. This person could be fair. I'm picking up on like fair skin or um, light for their cultural background. Okay. So, they're looking at you as a king of swords. Hmm. They're seeing you as maybe a, uh, someone who doesn't typically open up their heart that easily. Or typically you're someone who keeps their heart to themselves. They see you as somebody who's been through, you've been through a lot, you've been through chaos. Maybe you are currently coming out of some sort of like change in the wind. And they feel like things are growing and evolving between the both of you. Um, and they feel very strongly about where things could really head. It's like they see a, a future here. Clarify, why do they see Aries as a king of swords? Okay. Knight of wands. You are a big force. Or you're, you're, you have a lot of power to you. Um, and they feel like you're thinking about where to put your power. Where to invest your power. You're thinking about where to take action. Wheel of fortune. Again. Yeah, they're seeing you as um, going through a change right now, a really big change, and using your using this like cycle to create a change in the wind with your actions. So there's something I do see them feeling uncertain about. Part of them. It's almost like I see them waiting. I see someone like there's this there's this um light in the woods, right? And they're trying to figure out what is this light? It it should I walk towards it or should I just stay where I am? Is this a good idea? Is this an illusion? Or should I just like be careful? Use trying to use their judgment here. This is smooth. There's something I do see this person 
keeping to themselves right now. I want to see what that is. Keeping hidden. What is this? The Magician. King of Swords. Okay. That their actions. They're also they're keeping to themselves what like they're they're what they're manifesting here or what they're trying to make happen here. I see this person is trying to create also or manifest you, manifest some sort of change here. Um, I don't see this as being them manipulating the situation um, in a bad way. I just see them as wanting to create something something positive here. Because their actions is a hierophant. So their actions coming towards you is good. Clarify the hierophant. This is showing some level of like commitment coming from them to try to like make both of your lifestyles work together or belief systems. Okay. Yeah, it's like they're trying to make something happen or grow in a more traditional way, though. And this may be taking something slow. This may be um, getting to know each other, um, seeing if you're, you two match up when it comes to your values. There's a part of them that is scared, but but they're... Making a move to, to commit to this. Hmm. So. Patience. What are you being patient about? Love. I literally said this in my head. <laughs> it was like just confirmation. Yeah. You may be patient. Um, needing to be patient for someone's love. Someone to open up their heart. That has to happen organically. But is heading in that direction. Or this could even be you Aries. This could be you slowly with that ace of pentacles. Investing your time and your energy into something that you see as being solid. And slowly opening up. Okay, there's there is a little bit of a defensive or protective energy coming from someone. But four of wands showing me something heading to a more stable place. Something's heading to a state. Things are headed to a stable place for you, but it's just taking some time. It's taking time, but it's, I'm seeing you're already in this, like, wave. You're on a wave right now. And this current is, like, leading you. It's leading you in a good direction. So just ride the wave. Okay. And let go of regrets. Let go of any regrets that um, about the past or things that you wish you could have done differently. Because everything had happened for a reason and everything ha is leading you up to this moment, to this seed, to this opportunity. Everything has led you up to this moment and is leading you towards uh, something amazing. Celebrations, I'm seeing something is like finally happening that you've been patient for a long time for. Okay. And release. What is this denial about? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? Some of you, I, you're, you, you try to like laugh off. A situation that really had hurt you or a situation that like really affected you in some form of like denial and they're saying don't do that don't do that anymore allow yourself to like 
be like, yeah, this happened and it wasn't fun. I didn't like it, but I've accepted it and this is how I feel about it. Because some of you are laughing something off. Um, you're, you're like, you use humor to cover something that like deeply hurt you. Um, and that closes off your throat chakra. It closes off your ability to speak your truth. And they're saying, don't do that. Speak your truth. Speak your truth freely. Okay, I'm seeing the numbers one, three, seven, four, picking up on 11, 11. So those numbers, they could be synchronicities, special days coming up. I'm seeing the letters R, J, H, P, and D. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.